Hello everyone, we are finally back after a long break with yet another tutorial. It struck us while doing a project that there aren't really any simple tutorials on the internet for making a drawable canvas in your game, and as such we came up with a pretty easy to understand code that might help you add more customization to your projects. First and foremost, let's set up our scene. Let's create a cube that will serve as our canvas and a drawing manager object under which we will add the piece of code. First of all, we need to open a brand new script and get rid of the starting functions and the top two libraries, as we won't be using them for now. Next, we need to set some basic variables that we will need throughout our script. For now, we will define our camera, canvas size on the x and y axis, brush size, color, and the material. Alongside this, we must also define our texture 2D variable and the color map, so we can have more colors to play with on our canvas. Next, we will add a private start function to put our color map together, so just follow along. Now that we are done with the color map, we can get into the code that calculates where our cursor is and where we can draw. First, we must add three more transform variables for our top left and bottom right corners, as well as the point where our cursor will be. After all that comes a more tricky part. We will need to calculate the pixel on our canvas relative to the world pixels. To do this, we will use a ray. To initiate our points position with that of our cursor once the ray hits the canvas. Next, we will need to calculate our pixels x and y coordinates by using the point, the top left and the bottom right corners as references. As you can see, the latter part of this calculus is always constant, so to simplify the code we will initiate it with a variable. After this is done, we can now build an update function from which we will call upon our calculate pixel function. Now that we have the canvas and a way to track our cursor on the canvas, we need to find a way to color these pixels. As such, this part of the code will change the texture in a circle area around the determined point from before. This texture will depend on the color selected on the color map, and the circle size will depend upon our selected brush size. This part is a bit more complicated, so feel free to pause the video at any time to make sure you get everything just right. And finally, let's make sure these functions are being called upon correctly. The code being done, we need to assign our variables their designated objects. Let's create the material and the custom object for our corners and our cursor point and assign them to the script.
careful when placing the corners as errors might lead to miss inputs when drawing. And finally, let's place the cube in front of our camera. Now, if you run this in play mode, you might notice that the drawing might seem reversed. This has an easy fix. Just go to our object transform, then rotate it to 90 degrees on the Z axis. Now, the drawing should be accurate. However, the width of the lines are not constant. Simply fix this by changing our canvas X size to be equal to its Y size in the script variables, like so. And as you can see, we have a cube with a drawable face and a constant line width everywhere. You might think we're done, but testing the code, we found some inconsistencies when you move your cursor, cursor really fast. So we came up with a fix. This part of the code will basically check if we missed any points on the canvas due to the speed of the cursor and fill in the points that we passed over. After this fix, we can see that no matter how fast we move the cursor on the canvas, the line is still being drawn. This pretty much wraps up today's tutorial. Uh, if you want to see more, please let us know in the comments. Also, if you want to take a close look at the code yourself, the code is in the description below with comments specifically made to make you understand the code, since today's video was a bit fast-paced. So, uh, until next time, bye.